Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a volume profile in Atas. So first thing we're going to do is right click and go to indicators, or you can click indicators here. And then we are going to type in profile and we're going to add this market profile and TPO indicator here. So we're going to leave the mode at profile. If you want a TPO, you can add one of these, or if you just want TPO, you can click TPO, but we're just going to do a profile. And by default, it is um, showing us the ETH and RTH profile combined. And we just want the RTH profile. So what I'm going to do is go to custom here and I'm in Eastern time. So I'm going to do 930 for the custom start time. And then the end time, it's going to be in 24 hour time. So instead of four, we're going to put 16. And then something else that we can do is we can have it highlight this area. So I'm going to create a area color and I'm going to put this at black, but then we're going to make it a bit more transparent. Click OK. I kind of like having um, that to highlight the highs and lows. I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent so it's not popping out too much. Now there we go there. So now that we have that done, we have the profile. You can switch it from right to left. I personally like left to right. Um, and then the next thing we can do is we can change the color of the profile. So I like mine a little bit clearer and I'm going to make mine gray. So I'm going to do this gray here and let's actually go in and make that quite transparent. Make it a little bit darker. There. So now that we have that done, we can go in and change the coloring here of the value area low and value area high and the point of control. So I'm going to go here to the, down here to the um, maximum level, which is going to be the point of control. We're going to change the text color and change that to black so we can see that here. And for the value area high and value area low, I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, for the point of control, I'm just going to change this to point of control since we know that it's a volume profile, no reason to have a um, volume point of control. Um, next thing we can do is we can extend till um, touch. Same thing with the um, value area lines. And once we have that done, there's not much else we can do. Um, a lot of these are with the TPO. Um, one thing we can do is we can add an RTH candle, which I like to do. So we can add a candle here. I'm going to make the green candle a blue candle and the red, I'm going to make it a little bit more pinkish and I'm going to make this border width a little bit less. And I'm going to go in and make this a little bit more transparent so we can see when there's bars since this is being overlaid. <clears throat> so now that I have that done, um, not much else to do. This is kind of like how I like to have my volume profile set up. So now we can see we have the RTH um, volume profiles with a daily candle for um, every single day. 